Well, hello, and welcome to this week's Sunday Morning Studio Chat. I'm Angie, a mixed media textile artist. In this week's chat, I want to go into a little more detail about my art series that I want to do this year. That's one of my big goals for this year. So what I wanted to do was show you some of the ideas that I have. Now, I want to do a lot of hand stitching on this series, but my hand stitching skills are very rusty. It's been many, many years since I've done any extensive hand stitching, so I thought it would be a good idea to do a few small samples to get myself back into, I guess, Mm, you know, my skills are a little rusty, so let's do a little bit of practice on it before I jump right in into the big series. Now, that's something I've always done in the past. I get an idea and I jump right in. A lot of times it comes out good. Sometimes it doesn't come out so good. So instead of setting myself up for failure, I want to set myself up for success this time. So let's do some practice. Now, I want to show you a few pieces that I did maybe a year or so ago. They're just small little test pieces where I did some hand stitching on them. And this is kind of the direction that I want to go on this series. These are just some small rust pieces. And this first one, I did a rust circle and I did some hand embroidery. Now, I did mostly actually all French knots, which is one of my absolute favorite um, hand stitches. And for this piece I use some blue thread because orange and blue is my favorite color combination. And I think I dyed these threads with indigo, but I'm not 100% sure I could have dyed them with fabric dye. So this first piece is all French knots and I absolutely love it. Now this next piece is all French knots too. And as you can see from this piece, I'm not very particular about making sure my French knots are perfect. I love the imperfection of some of these knots. This color of thread is a rusty red brown color and I wanted to see what a dark color in the same color range would look like. And I really like it so I think I'll be doing some more of that color. Now this final piece I also used a lot of French knots in the blue color but I did come back and do some other stitches in another color. And I just want to kind of play around and see what other stitches I might like to use. Of course, it would be kind of boring if I did everything in French knots. And so that's what I'll be doing on these other pieces that I'll be showing you. Now these next pieces I'm going to show you, these are all rust dyed coffee filters. Yes, coffee filters. I drink a lot of coffee. Actually, my husband and I both drink a lot of coffee. And we still use a drip coffee maker. We don't use one of those single serve because we just be at the coffee pot all day making cups of coffee. And we like to use paper filters instead of the permanent filter. And I used to throw these away, but one day it dawned on me that you could do something with those coffee filters. And as you can see, they rust beautifully. Now the rusty metal that I'm using for these pieces are old saw blades. Whenever my husband would get a dull saw blade on his table saw or circular saw, he would give it to me and I would use it for doing some of my rust dyeing. And what I like about them is each piece is individual, even if I use the same rusty saw blade. And you see they look absolutely great. And here's another piece. Look at the difference now. These are absolutely gorgeous. And a third piece. Totally different pattern using rusty saw blades and coffee filters. Now I have an upcoming video tutorial where I will show you how I use these rusty saw blades on these coffee filters, so stay tuned for that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of these rusty coffee filters. I love them and I hope other people do too. And if you did enjoy this video, let's give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring my bell so that you won't miss any new videos I upload. I hope to see you back here again sometime soon, but until then, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. So bye-bye now.